hello everybody welcome back to another vlog it is actually like 5 p.m on a sunday we just had a great weekend visiting sierra steven grace and alice in san diego we had so much fun with them decided not to vlog just because you know sometimes it there's a balance right um but we had such a good time we went to the safari park together we had some fun running around all day we ordered dinner we went in the hot tub we had a great time so that was really lovely and then drew and i went to the flower field in San Diego which I had always wanted to do I had like driven past them a few times like in years that I visited I had never actually gone before so um, it was really nice to swing by and it was so lovely so that has been just so cup filling you know what I mean it's been really great I'm just so grateful for Sierra and Steven and their friendship and Drew finally did make it he did show Grace that he was a real person and not a paper towel so that was wonderful if you watched those vlogs from back in December you'll know but anyways um the light is really coming in right now it's beautiful we got home and we immediately crashed on the couch for like two hours like we took a two hour nap and now i'm feeling a little bit better drew's making some dinner right now and i'm just in need of a reset you know it's just time so i think we're gonna do a little bit of laundry i got an exciting package in that i want to open with you and then just have like a nice chill night so first things first so i'm gonna grab it um quick story time as well we got home to drew's car being broken into which was very unfortunate <laughs> Not only was his car broken into, but there were uh, three packages that got delivered this morning. So it was like a random Sunday delivery, which was interesting. Um, and so we were like, oh, well, we'll be home in like two hours. It should be fine. It was, it was actually not fine. They got stolen too. So anyway, that is severely disappointing, but that's okay. I have a package that did survive. We're gonna open it up together. Oh my God, the lighting in here is so good right now. Like I love this little prism thing that I have hanging in my window. It's like making the light dance all around the room. It's so pretty. But anyways, I got a package in from Brooklyn and they are sponsoring this vlog. You guys know, I love them. I have used them for years and I got some new bedding that I thought I would show you. In case you didn't know, Brooklyn is a luxury sheets company and they have just really high quality products that just for me anyway, I feel like they really elevate my home and my space that I love. I think it's important to invest in sheets that are not only like high quality and last through frequent washes But also that get softer through time like the ones that I've had for years and years have only gotten better with time So I went with the Lux hardcore bundle, which I am so excited about and yeah I kind of just wanted to do like a little spring and summer Bedroom refresh makeover and because you spend a third of your life literally in your sheets I think it's just nice to have good quality ones that help upgrade your sleep and Brooklyn and has over a hundred thousand five-star reviews more than any other online bedding company and so instead of buying individual items you can save 25% by getting the bundle I got the Lux hardcore sheet bundle this includes a core sheet set some extra pillow cases as well as your duvet cover and I love these colors you can choose to mix and match over 20 different colors and patterns to really just like capture your own style or whatever vibe you're trying to go for so I went for like a little bit of a neutral but like elevated look so I got the warm gray in the sheets and pillowcases and then the duvet cover I got this really cool brown and white stripe and building your bundle is really really easy very user-friendly there are so many different options to choose from I'm obsessed with it we've been like exclusively sleeping on Brooklyn and sheets for years and they're just so soft so comfortable they only get better with time great quality so many things to love so we're gonna pop these in the washer and get these nice and fresh to make our bed for tonight and as always Brooklyn is hooking you up with an amazing discount code so if you use my code Dayton at checkout you can get $20 off any order of $100 or more just make sure you click my link down in the description box below everything will be down there and let's put these in the wash and get these ready to go i'm so excited All right, it's actually a couple days later now. Um, I just needed yesterday to like catch up and recover, but I will say I haven't really even unpacked or anything yet. So we're gonna pick back up right where we left off. I still have um, my stuff and Drew's stuff here that we brought to San Diego with us that we haven't unpacked yet. So very first step is to at least get this stuff picked up. So we have like, my makeup and toiletry bag. Didn't bring that much stuff because we were literally there for one night, but it wouldn't hurt to get some more laundry going and you know wash like our bathing suits and the clothes that we wore
We're not gonna talk about that drawer. All right, now that that's going, we're gonna heat up some lunch. I actually did some filming already today. It's like lunchtime. Uh, it's like 1.30 almost. I did some filming for a brand deal and I just realized that I forgot an entire portion of what I needed to, I need to take pictures basically. But I already like changed into my comfy clothes. So I'm gonna have to change back into those and take pictures, but that's okay, obviously. But I am heating up yet again, leftover taco bowls because I am a leftovers girly. Well, it depends on what it is. And Drew is not, he does not like leftovers unless it's like spaghetti or like pizza. So I'm gonna heat up this little taco bowl. It's not gonna be as pretty because it's all mixed together now, but it has, I think I showed it in a recent vlog. It has ground beef or ground turkey, black beans, corn, peppers and onions. I have some lettuce over there. I'm gonna do some sauces and then tortilla strips. It's gonna be really good. And cheese, obviously. P.S. Drew and I have been obsessed with these Siete taco seasonings. It's actually really, really good. We just bought a big pack of it because I like these so much better than like the store-bought ones. Obviously you can make your own, but just for convenience, these are really good. They are a little pricier than like your typical grocery store, like McCormick taco seasoning, but it just tastes so much better. It's really good. So definitely recommend that. I enjoy tacos and like making taco bowls and all that kind of stuff at home so much more when we have that. I can't remember if I showed this. I don't think I did, but these were the bouquets of flowers that we took home with us from the flower fields the other day in San Diego. They're so pretty. I think they're called ranunculus. I think that's how you pronounce it. Um, but we got two bouquets and then we put them in our new little Ikea vase that we got. We went to Ikea, I don't know, a couple weekends ago and this was like one of the only things we got. We just felt like browsing, but like, look how gorgeous these colors are. This to me is like the perfect bouquet obsessed you are in fact on a roll of toilet paper or paper towels at the moment but that's okay okay so we're gonna do a little bit of cheese i've done cottage cheese before too i'm not really a cottage cheese person but like it works with some extra protein and stuff but i'm just gonna use like some shredded cheese today and then i need my fork to mix it up hold on okay here's where we are so far which already looks delish but i am i've shown this before but i am a ranch on my taco bowls kind of girl i don't know where this started probably just because it's like taco salad sort of and that's like where i got it from but i do a little bit of ranch and a little bit of green sauce I guess it's kind of not that gross because people put sour cream on taco bowls. I'm just not a sour cream person at all. And I just like, it gives it a little zing, you know what I mean? Got that and then we'll do some lettuce. This time my lettuce is not disgusting because we did open it yesterday. So we'll do a little bit of shredded lettuce and then some tortilla strips. And that's lunch with my Diet Coke, obviously. Gotta have the crunch as well. So there we have it. There's my lunch, but I am gonna mix it up and make it very unesthetic because I like to have everything in every bite, you know? This would be much better if I had some like guacamole or like Herdez makes like a guac salsa thing and it's so good, but they were sold out. Here we go. Oh, cheers. Mm-hmm. Delish. And now for my favorite time of the day, my lunch break, where I get to sit and watch YouTube videos and drink my caffeine-free Diet Coke and eat my lunch and just be an iPad kid, you know? I love it. All right, just changed over the laundry, hung up some stuff to dry, and now I got a package in and I thought I would try on a pair of shorts that I got because I'm always on the hunt in the summertime for like good denim shorts like good, you know, aren't gonna make me chafe to death denim shorts. And I found, you know, since I'm about to change and get back into the outfit that I forgot to take photos of earlier, I've found that like longer Abercrombie shorts are usually good. And I saw a pair that Samantha Joe was wearing, who I love dearly, and I bought them immediately. So here they are. I opened the package in there, but um, these are the Abercrombie high rise dad short curve love. I got these in a size 16. And I'm gonna show you what they look like cause they fit me kind of perfectly. Usually the Curve Love, not me just changing on camera cause I'm so used to my main channel. <laughs> Usually the Curve Love is like a little too tight on my stomach. Sorry about the washer in the background. But I tried these on and they were like literally perfect. So here we go. Here is this pair and they are so cute. Like look at these. These are precious. I I think they're gonna be long enough. I feel like they're just long enough. I think it's like a 
five or a six inch inseam. And I feel like it's like, it's gonna be just enough. Although I haven't sat down in these yet. And like sometimes if you've got a big belly, you understand like standing up and having something fit you usually means that when you sit down, it hurts. So let's test it out. Cause I did get the size up as well. I'm gonna take a seat. Oh, these are like really stretchy. Honestly, I'm impressed. These are just such a cute pair of shorts. I do have like a couple jeans that I want to cut into shorts. I'm going to film like a main channel video where I, you know, upcycle some stuff. But I think these might be kind of good. The only thing I'm noticing is just that the inseam has this like thicker bit. I don't know where like where it sews, where it folds. Does that make sense? I don't know what to call it. And I worry about like that rubbing against my leg. But like this is a very cute pair of summer shorts so we have to hang on to those and see I don't think I would you know ever be able to do like a Disney day or anything in these but just for like you know day-to-day -day, cute summertime vibes I think this might this might be good but I really like someday I think I need to figure out how to make shorts like denim shorts bike shorts um, built-in bra tops, things that like I feel like are missing from the fashion world because no one was thinking about, oh, this might like chafe some people. You know what I mean? So it's like the length is there, but I just don't know about the, the inseam, although they are kind of like loose. They're like loose and flowy. Cute. I'm glad these worked out. Success. All right, doesn't seem like it, but I actually just finished um, taking those photos. I went outside on our little back patio and took some pictures, whoa, come on camera, keep up girl. Anyway, it's about 3.30 now, so I'm just finishing up my work for the day. I've had a good productive day, I've been working since about 7.30, so it feels good, I feel good wrapping it up here. I'm gonna close that door, because that washer is loud. Anywho, um, yeah, I just got a package in from Etsy, it literally just got delivered, and I'm excited, I'm gonna show you in a second, but it reminded me that I never really fully elaborated on, I just like kind of breezed past the fact that um, Drew's car got broken into when we were gone and then we got packages stolen which is so annoying because we've lived here for two years and going on two years and we've never had any kind of issue like that our neighbor in our building had his motorcycle stolen once but that ended up getting found and like it was all good but um yeah so that was really kind of upsetting to find out that that had happened and I am even more upset because if it had been a package from like Old Navy or something probably could have been able to like you know figure something out but it was <laughs> it was an Etsy purchase both of my purchases were from Etsy and the package that Drew was missing was also I think from Etsy or like eBay or something so it's like a one-of-a-kind thing so I spent <sighs> dare I say it I don't know I bought a pair of vintage Disney overalls and they were red uh, it hurts so bad to say they were red they were beautiful they were perfect I shelled out a decent amount of money on them we'll say I mean whatever they were $70 I spent $70 on this vintage pair of Disney overalls and then I also purchased a vintage Disney like vest denim vest kind of like the denim vest that I already have but it had a little Mickey on it and like I was just so excited for those things and that's what I get for like you know not paying attention to when they were going to be delivered I do think it's random that they were delivered on a Sunday, but they were and that's just that so Yeah, unfortunately those did get stolen and then drew had purchased a book I think from yeah, like Etsy or something like that and it was a same thing like a vintage thing that he had purchased uh, And there's nothing I can do and you know, it's just one of those things that oh well you have to deal with it I did get a couple I've had issues here getting packages delivered because like our building is kind of awkward so there have been times where packages have been marked as delivered but they weren't people are screaming outside there were times where it was like oh your package was delivered and, and it wasn't I was like mm, it wasn't delivered here and then like there were even times recently where um, I ordered something for a brand and or like for a video like to try on for a video and um, it didn't end up getting to me it said it was delivered and it was clearly delivered to the wrong address and I was like all stressed about it and I was like let me wait until tomorrow and somebody who it got delivered to brought it to my house there's actually good people out there. It's so nice. Drew and I have always done that. Like we've always made sure to, you know, if a package gets delivered to us, we like take it back to them. But it's so nice when you get that in return, you know? But yeah, it's just, it's one of those things. At least our place didn't get broken into. It was just Drew's car and he didn't have anything in there. He thinks they were trying to steal his car, but little do they know his car doesn't start at the moment because it's sat there for so long. He needs a new battery. We parked tandem and it's like a whole thing. So anyway, um, 
so they were probably sorely disappointed that the car wouldn't start but i also like went through everything and my car has gotten broken into before um when we lived like literally probably five houses ago we lived um with our friends and my car was parked on the street and it got broken into and they i don't think they took anything i think they took like my charger or like my little aux cord and that's what i was the most upset about um but it's just one of those things you know it is what it is it's like whatever everything's fine it's gonna be okay they didn't like smash any windows or anything like that so that's good there are no like repairs that need to be made it's just like a it's a violating feeling and more than anything it's the freaking packages i'm sad about the packages i want my packages back but it's okay so i'm gonna have to let that go sadly it's gonna take me a little while but that's okay so anyway that's what's going on around here but yeah i just finished taking my photos outside for the brand thing i'm gonna airdrop those to my computer i have been obsessively checking my email to see if there's any updates on the two places that we applied for basically um the first three places we got a no but the fourth and fifth place it's just kind of in limbo they haven't really given an answer it's like what what do you mean they're still online as well which i'm like hello and it's so hard to like think about something else when you're waiting for that email to come in it's like either way just let me know you know um i followed up with one of them i was supposed to hear back yesterday didn't hear anything and then the other one we applied for over a week ago i think or a week ago tomorrow and still haven't heard back so i'm gonna follow up on that one as well so anyway, all right, I'm gonna finish up this work, airdrop all that stuff, put it in a folder, try to get it all together, and then we will see what we get up to tonight. But I am feeling very accomplished with the amount of work I got done today. I mean, I could have vlogged a little more, but that's okay. And tonight we're gonna relax, watch The Jinx maybe on HBO. There's a new episode of that. We've been watching 2020 a lot as well on Hulu. I don't know why we just are like heavy in a 2020 phase. I also wanna play my Switch a little bit cause there's a lot going on in my Disney Dreamlight Valley game. I am very busy. <laughs> I literally just got so distracted on my phone. I think it's been like four minutes and I totally forgot I was filming. Anyway, okay, we'll check in later. Good morning, everyone. It is the next day. It's about 8 a.m. And I am just sitting down enjoying my morning coffee. Drew's making his right now. And funnily enough, here, let me set you down so we can uh, we can finish this chat, finish this vlog out with a chat. We have just officially, <laughs> it's like, you just laugh because it's so funny. We have just officially gotten an email being rejected from our fifth place that we have applied for. I understand that it's not like a personal thing because there are probably like 40 people applying for each of these places. So, you know, what can you do? Um, and a lot of these people probably make way more money than us. They like drive Teslas, you know, all that kind of stuff. But it's just truly like, it's deeply humbling. So um, since the last vlog went up, I've actually listened to a lot of your recommendations and I've put together a really nice letter with photos of Drew and me and a little bit about ourselves, why we love the neighborhood, why we see ourselves living in the area, um, that, you know, we don't have any pets, we're quiet and respectful tenants, like sort of uh, like that we love our current neighborhood, but like we're like looking for more space and you know, da da da. Um, so I'm hoping that that will like put us above other people and just make it a little bit more personal because it's literally true like we do want a place to call home and like host our loved ones and you know make our own and stuff so um yeah we'll see what ends up happening with that but we it's been quite a roller coaster over the last couple of days because it's like you think you have a place then you don't then you maybe think you have another place and you don't and both of these places that we've applied for like these last two rejections um have been over the course of like the last week or so so anyway that's currently what's going on we are unfortunately back at square one but that's okay it's just how it is at the moment. Part of me wants to just like wait until after the summer, but it's time for us to go. You know what I mean? You just know when it's time to move on. And so it's definitely time to move on. And I mean, who knows? Like literally yesterday, 
you know, looking at all these places and begging these landlords to let us pay thousands of dollars, like overpay for their rent, you know, for their mortgage. There were like a couple moments yesterday where we were like, let's just move back to Arizona because this is not worth it. We could literally pay like half of what we're paying in rent pretty much. Um, and actually our old house in Arizona that we lived in before we moved here, is on the market and our landlord was, our old landlord was like, we would love to have you as tenants again, blah, blah, blah. So I mean, that's always an option, but I just don't really feel like we're a hundred percent ready to leave California yet. So who knows? We're going to try to make it work. I think we're going to go view another place today, or at least I am. Drew's going to have to see if he can get off work and go view this place. And we're going to go for number six, <laughs> but I feel like we're just going to have a little bit more of like an attack plan in place. Like we're gonna have our renter letter ready to go. We're gonna apply immediately after seeing something. We're going to possibly like look into maybe a realtor or something, to see if they have access to other listings. Um, Cause that's really all you can do is just like be vigilant, get on it right away. Um, but unfortunately it's like, even if you do get on it right away, there are like 50 other people that are wanting that place. So it's crazy, but, um, yeah, it's just one of those things that it's just how it is now. So the time of year isn't ideal because it's like very busy, I guess it's a, a super busy time of year for, for people to move, but it is what it is. So Yes, we could stay in this place a little bit longer, but we kind of just don't want to. We kind of want to move on. It's like there's a lot of memories from Layla and Moo here that I would love to, like, obviously you don't have to move when your pets pass away, but it's like, you know, our time at this point in our lives is kind of coming to an end, I feel. And we're just craving something different, something new, a new area. So we'll see what happens. But anyways, cheers to that. If you get knocked down five times, get up six and maybe 10. I mean, there are people in the comments from the last vlog who said that they looked for like six months. That's insane. I feel like that's maybe for like more of a home buying type of thing, but the rental market is even crazy now, which is wild. So anyway, that's the update. That's the tea. I just wanted to, you know, keep you posted, give you sort of like an open-ended ending to this vlog because we will see what happens, you know? No matter what, we're going to be okay. It's not a big deal. But it is annoying when it's like a place that you want to live. But anyways, um, yeah, thank you so much for watching this vlog. Thanks for being here. Thank you again to Brooklyn Inn for sponsoring this vlog. Don't forget to click my link down in the description box below and use my code Dayton at checkout to get $20 off an order of $100 or more. I can't cannot recommend their sheets enough. We've been sleeping on these new ones for a couple nights now and they are a dream and they're only gonna get better with time. So yeah, a big thanks to them again. Thank you guys so much for being here and hanging out with me for this vlog and we will see you very soon for the next one. Bye.